Write that down, see. And let it be by courses of three. Uh, Brother Branham, we know that you are a messenger sent from God to this church age. The very same signs that followed Jesus, we see following you. And we are... Uh, you understand why some who know you best think you are Messiah. Would you explain the difference in uh, your uh, relationship to God and that of Christ? Well, I know, brethren, that is true. See, but let's, wait, i got something to go down on that here just for a minute. See, many times it's misunderstood. See? But now, in the person sometimes, I want some of you to turn with me to Luke, the third chapter, and the 15th verse. While you're doing that, I might be saying to you when you get it, that it's Luke 3. It's my, it's in, let me just, I'm going to shut the door because there's nobody there. Let, let me just get this to you done. You hear it. It's all around. <laughs> But listen, let me tell you, see, it has to come that way. It's got to come that way. If it wasn't that way, I would repent of my message. Listen, brethren. I jury before Christ that you, you, you hold this part of your feet. But if you were spiritual, you'd understand. Amen. See? Don't you know what the very first thing he said down there on the river? Don't you remember what he said? As John the Baptist was sent forth to forerun the first coming of Christ, you're a message. It's the message that will forerun the second coming of Christ. That's what the angel of the Lord said. Now, now notice. Now, as John the Baptist, now all of you have heard that. You've read it in books and heard people that stand there hearing it and everything else. When that angel itself spoke that message... As John the Baptist was sent forth to forerun the first coming of Christ, you are sent with this message will forerun the second coming of Christ. Now, the message, now if you'll notice, and I, little Willie out there, put my name on that star out there, and that's the reason I passed it over, you see, because I, I don't think, now I'm going to be honest as I can be, I don't think I'd have anything to do with that messenger. See, that's right. I believe that I am maybe be sent for a part of this church to help build that message up to a place to where it would when this forerunner comes, that he will come. But I believe me being what I am, I am. Uh, 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 I believe that I have the message of the day. I believe that this is the light of the day. And I believe it's pointing to that time coming, you see. I believe that the message that he said down there uh, the message that you have. Now, if you notice, that star that rose back there was... Uh, uh, let me make it... I know I'm, I'm pinching my time here, and I've got these uh, such fine questions. I don't want... It's, it's after 10 now. So, uh, and I know you're wanting to go home, see. But uh, listen here. Let me show you. Will you give me just a, a, just a few moments extra? Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Now, look. Let me uh, say something. Now, you, brethren, keep this among yourself. See, I keep this among yourself. I've got to get you straight on this because you're my pastor. You're my pastors and things, you see. And I, I, I got to do this, and your brother's with me working in this message. See? Now, as far as me, myself, as a man, I'm as you and worse than you. I, 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 many of you all come with Christian backgrounds and things. I'm the chiefest of sinners, is what was said one time, among you. The lowest of life, I guess, that could be lived as an unbeliever and doubter, I was. But since a child, I've always known that there was a God and know there's something happening in my life. And that's, not, that's beyond any question, my brother. See? But let me say this. That there will come, there will come a message and there will come a messenger. I believe that if it's to be a man, it, it'll be somebody after me. See, it'll be. Uh, but this message that I'm preaching, uh, 
is the true message of this day, and it's the last message. You see what I'm doing, brethren? I'm putting you all the same place I am, because you're just as much into it as I am. You are messengers of this same message. Uh, here, I got an illustration. Uh, I think I can make it better by an illustration. Let me just partially close this door for a moment. This is Jesus, and that is Jesus. So I'll put this over here, Gethsemane, and this here, and there. Now, you can't, I didn't even say this out before the church. Now, remember, what kind of a light a star led the man who was seeking wisdom to guide us to the perfect life. Now, I'm going to break down here just a minute and tell you something. Let's jerk that thing off of, of Willie's stuff up there. That man say it's right. Let's just say it's right. I can't say that to him. That's the stuff shit. That I would, even if I believe it, I would say Somebody else says it's that thing. But here, it's like I've just asked uh, some of the boys that they would kind of testify some of the things that's happened. I don't like getting in the pulpit and testify something that's happened in the meeting. That's the manager. Somebody else. Somebody else. Testify. I don't like to do that. Yeah, that's it. So I'll get you that. He denied it. The voice of one crying Lord. He positionally placed himself. When he asked him to give that prophet, he said, I am not. Yeah. Now, well, the prophet was that one. Moses yeah, that's the one. That's the prophet. See, see? But he knew who he was. See? But he did tell. Now that he did tell that, see, and he did say, I am the voice of one. He, he, he said what he was. He, but he was a, Go ahead. When Christ came along, then following John, they come to him and say, We, and he thought, believed that Elijah would come before Messiah. Mm -hmm. He said, If you can receive it. That was him. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And G, John kept saying, I'm nothing. I'm nothing. I'm not worthy to lose the shoe. But what about when Jesus said about him? Uh, yeah. He said, who'd you go out to see? <laughs> yeah. Did you go to see a reed shaking with the wind? Or what? Did you go to see some men in fine raiment and or luxury and things? He said, they're a king's palace. But did you go to see a prophet? So I said, yes, and more than a prophet. He was more than a prophet. He was a messenger of the covenant. That's what he was. He was more than a prophet. He said, he's never been a man born of a woman as great as him to this time. See, that's what it was. See, he was a messenger of the covenant. He is the one that introduced and said, this is him. All the other prophets spoke of him, but John said, this is him. See, now watch. I notice. The wise man followed a star. I'm going to take it back more of a minor <laughs> way. See, the wise man followed a star, asked him, uh, where is he born, king of the Jews? You've heard the song. We've seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. You've heard that. Read it in the scripture. All right. Westward leading, still proceeding. Guide us to thy perfect light. See? The star was guiding to the perfect light because the star was only reflecting a light. That's where we got this out here the other day. See? How many was your Sunday to see that? Mm -hmm. See, just got through preaching about it. Shekinah glory reflected this star and star reflected. Here was the angel Lord standing here on a platform reflecting back out there out of the Shekinah glory. Just exactly the same thing. There it was right exactly. Looking here at the real one, looking out there, it being reflected right on the side. Like that. See? Now, notice this. Now that star rose in the east. Is that right? It's a great star. All right? And who was the actual earthly star in the time of the coming of Jesus? Well, John. He was the one who guided them to that perfect light. Is that right? That was in the east at the first appearing of Jesus. 
And now, there's a lot of little stars that cross over the horizontal until it comes over to the evening star. And the evening star shines in the evening. The morning star shines in the morning. And they're both the same size stars and the same kind of star. <laughs> now I put two and two together and you got it. See? See? There you are. So it isn't the star isn't Messiah. He's just reflecting the Messiah. Now the star does not reflect its own light. The star reflects the light of the sun. Is that right? Huh? In the moon does, the star reflects its own light. Yeah. Yeah, the moon, yeah, I mean the moon reflects its light, yeah. Now, if, uh, if the star reflecting its light, then its light would have to come from, the, from God because it is a glacier of some sort, isn't it? Huh? A sun of itself, off of the sun. Yeah. And they were told that those suns come from the big sun. The sun re flowed these missiles off, and they're little burning missiles like the sun. So they're an amateur suns to us. Is that right? Am amateur lights. Some are, both of them are bigger than ours. I mean to us. To us. See, we're talking about ourselves here. All right. Now, if they are suns to us, or light givers, they are part of the main giver. See? The big sun gives us the big light, the perfect light. The little suns or the little stars, which we can see in bodies, they may be far beyond the, the sun that shines, but what they reflect to us is a smaller light. But they're only given witness of a light. Is that right? Then when the big sun rises, the little suns go out. Is that right? They are not the, the sun to us. They are a reflector like the sun. See what I mean? Now, the biggest among them in the morning that her heralds the coming of the sun, the setting of the sun and the coming of the sun is the morning star and the evening star. Is that right? Two of the biggest stars. The eastern star and the western star. Now, I see where it's at. Elijah was the messenger to hail, herald the coming of the eastern star and predicted to be the heralder of the, the western star, of the coming again of the new day after this day is past. Now, you see what it is? The east it shall be light in the, see just before the sun was herald to the earth the morning star give witness that the sun's a coming is that right see that brings forth the morning star well then the morning star and the evening star are the same type of stars and these little stars all across don't you see what i mean the messengers well then he was to look upon as alpha and omega the beginning and the end Jasper and Sardis stone. See what I mean? Now, the coming of, of Christ drawing near at hand, then the message that Elijah was supposed to preach in the last days, if there is a repeat of history, just like the morning star heralds the coming there, the evening star heralds the coming of a new day, another day. This is the coming of the sun then, it heralds the, the, the going of the, of the sun that we have had, the coming of a new sun, see, a new age, a new time to come in. Now, listen, then if John brought forth his message and herald the first coming of Christ and Elijah comes in the last day, the prophet said, it'll be light in the evening time. In other words, there would be a light in the evening time. The evening light, the biggest evening light we got is the evening star, the greatest light we got. Well, then it would have to herald the same message that it was at this other star. It's heralding the sun, speaking of the sun. Well, now we're in the evening time. The evening lights are here. 
This age has vanished away. See what I mean? This day has passed over, and there will be hurling another day coming. For see, that's actually, if somebody was in the west and looked back to that star, it would be an east. And if you see, we have seen his star in the east, but they was actually actually they were they were in the east looking westward towards that star. Is that right? The wise man was over in the west, over in the east, looking back towards the western star. See what I mean? But it was an eastern star to the ones that's in the west. See, like we say, I always say down is up. How do you know about what? That's right. We're standing in eternity, so the South Pole may be up and the North Pole may be down. We don't know. See, <laughs> the way up is down. See, we're, we leave this after this. We go into eternity. It's hailing, hurl, hailing a coming of an eternity, a different day, a different time, and all together. Now we're in the evening time. We believe that. We believe that the coming of the Lord is at hand. All right. Now, if that be so, then there's got to be an evening light. And the evening light, according to Malachi 4, was supposed to turn the hearts of the children back to the fathers, back to the beginning. But when he come the first time, he was turning the hearts of the fathers to the children. The children was the ones that he had gathered around him. He is to bring the children, the hearts of the fathers, the old ancient Orthodox fathers, back to this light that he was heralding here. Well, when he comes again, he's to turn right back around, did you notice, before the world is destroyed, the great and terrible day of the Lord, and turn the hearts of the children to the fathers, the evening stuff. The evening star, which was the morning star at that time. <laughs> Amen. I hope, I hope I get it right, see. The evening star, which was the morning star, because it's the same star, we're in the west looking east. There's the east looking west. It's exactly the same star. See what I mean? It depends on where you're at. See? Whether it's the eastern star or the western star. You see what I mean? All right. Now, it bring, one brings the faith of the fathers to the children, and this time it's the faith of the children back to the fathers. You've went around and coming around again, don't you see what you mean? See what I mean? It's the same star all the time. The same thing, the same message, the same thing. Right back again, it's passed over. And how do you know which way you're going? I believe the hour will come when they'll actually find out that the world don't even run. I believe that with all my heart. I don't believe how much they scientifically prove it or anything more. They've done a lot of scientific proving they had to take back. Hmm? God said the world stopped. The sun, I mean the sun stopped instead of the world. See, the sun, I actually don't believe the sun, uh, I, I, I don't believe the sun does what they say it does. I know the moon travels and I believe uh, the sun runs also. See, But some of them say he looked at the ignorance of Joshua, see, and uh, said he stopped the Said, well, he said he stopped the world. I said, then you told me if, they, if the world would ever stop, it would just shoot like a comet through space. See? I said, then what happened then? I was talking to Mr. Tice down here, the Bible teacher in high school. You know who it was? And he told me. I said, I believe that what the Bible said, that the world stopped. I, said, I mean, the sun stopped. Joshua said the sun stand still. And she stood there. <laughs> he said, well, he just stopped the world. He seen Joshua's ignorance. I said, you do the same by your intelligence, then. <laughs> uh, I believe they can scientifically prove how long the, the sun uh, did stop. Yes, they they, they, I've heard that, too. Yes. They claim I heard an astrologer here some time ago speaking on that, that they could prove it, and at the same time that they, something took place in the atmosphere that they could see where something happened in the heaven and it opened the Red Sea at that time. And they, they proved all that. Boy, I'm telling you, stars from way in yonder somewhere else had done something like that at that time. However, that's too deep for us. So um, now, the reason that this message... This message will have to be looked on in this respect to prove that it is. Now, we know, brethren, that man cannot be God. Man, yet he is a God. Each one of you are a God. You are made to be a God, but not while you're in this life. See, Jesus was a man just like we are, but God was in him. 
the fullness of God was in him. We have the Spirit by measure. But being that this light has come, and if it is the true light, that's to herald the message at John the Baptist herald, as he said he did on the river down there. And just look, how could it be? How could it be anything else? Look at me. See? Not even a grammar school education. When he told me the things would happen, not one of them has failed. Not one of them has ever failed. Look what he's done. Look, he's even got... And I told a brother back under years ago, I don't know who would be the oldest one among us, but we told him about these things, about seeing this light and what color it was and everything. Now the picture shows that it's true. All these different things proves to be the truth. Is that right? Well, then, if that is true and it is the light, now start about four verses above that 35th verse. I mean, uh, let's start about the 14th verse. Uh, brother, uh, who has it open? All right. Start about the 14th verse of the third chapter of St. Luke there. And the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do vows to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. And as the people were in expectation, and all men mused in their hearts of John, whether he were of Christ or not, John answered, saying unto them all, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, and the latches of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. All right. What was it? The people were under such expectations of the Messiah to appear. When they seen this great anointed ministry of a man coming out of the wilderness and having his campaign and going back in the wilderness, Many men, that was his own followers, said, He is the Messiah. They was expecting it. See? Then if this is the true message of God forerunning the coming of John the Baptist, the same, like the same thing, the Elijah message, it'll have to be thought of in the same manner. See? So that answers that question, I think, exactly. See? It's got to be thought in the same manner. See? It's the only thing that uh, we are responsible to do in order to there wouldn't be nothing. There's well, nothing you can do. Well, it would come to a reprobate mind if it come to this. If the man that was it was spoken of would witness that he was a Messiah, then we know he'd be a false Christ. See, that, see, as long as the man himself would hold his position, you see, like they told John. John didn't don't say nothing there about him, say anything about him. They were, they were the, the people, the, the lovely Christians, who, or the believers that was believing on John. They said, this man truly is a prophet of God. There's no doubt. They said, aren't you that prophet? He said, no. He said, well, uh, aren't you the Messiah? See, they, they thought he really was. See, he said, no. See? Uh, uh, aren't you, uh, who, who are you? He said, I'm the voice of one crying in the wilderness. And then the Bible said, the people being under expectation. Who was that? His hearers, his listeners, his followers, his brothers. See, now, they didn't want to hurt him. They wasn't trying to hurt him. But see, they, they thought actually in their hearts that he was the Messiah. Well, now, history has to repeat itself on every occasion. We know that. It has to repeat itself. Like you take over there in Matthew 3. It said uh, that it might be fulfilled, spoken to the prophet, out of Egypt I've called my son. Now that wasn't, it's speaking of Jesus the son, but run the reference. It was Jacob the son too, yeah. see? See, it all has a compound meaning. So now, if that, if, the, if that thing did not rise, I would still say it was in the future to rise. Because I know this message comes from God, and it's a forerunning of Christ, and it is the spirit and the power of Elijah, because it's restore the hearts of the children. Everything exactly vindicates it. So it's bound to shape up to a thing to be like that. Under the true people that it's absolutely believe in your brothers and friends. Now, I've had, I got a doctor right here in town. I can tell you of a doctor. I ain't going to tell you who he is, a friend of mine who put his hands around me. He said, Billy, it would be easy for me to say to you, you are God's last day Messiah. 
See? I said, Doc, don't you do that. He said, well, I don't see nobody in the world that's ever had a thing and say the things and do the things that you do, Billy. It's helped him a lot. And he said, I go to these churches and see these preachers and things. He said, you're different from them, and I know you ain't got no education. See? And I know that you're not a psychologist because you psychology won't do those things. See? I said, that's true, Doc. You don't even talk to him because you don't even know you couldn't get to first base with him, see, because he don't know what to do. But that's it, you see. I know a colored woman that lives up the lane from me. And she works for another man that I know of, and this man's wife called her, so that woman would absolutely do worship to you as a god. Because she was dying with cancer. And you laid hands on that woman and said, she was, uh, this woman's that she works for, her husband and this certain doctor, not the doctor I speak about, another doctor, plays golf and things together, and he'd give her up. And that was his buddy's housemaid, and he'd give her up to die, and she was healed absolutely, and the doctor couldn't even find a trace of it, of the cancer. And see, she'd say, now, they don't mean it in the light that I think that they say it in or, or we take it in, see? They mean that they're... They, they mean that they believe God is with us, in us, working through us. Not that an individual is God, you see. Now, they know that John was just a man. And so was Jesus just a man. Jesus was just a man. He was just born of a woman. Had to die. Is that right? He was a man. Had to eat and drink and hunger and cried and thirst and everything. Just as human as that well, you are. As human as I am. But the Spirit of God was in him in the fullness, without measure. He was omnipotent in power. Or Elijah was just a portion of that Spirit. Maybe anointed a little above his brethren, but he was just a portion of the Spirit. But the people was looking for the Messiah, and they seen this portion above their brethren. They said, oh my, this must be him. But when he began to shine, John's little light went out. <laughs> See? And these little lights that go out when he comes, that great anointed Christ of heaven coming from the east to the west and the and see, but he will not be on earth now. The Messiah will not be on earth until the millennium sets in. Amen. See? Amen. See? Because the church we're caught up together to meet the Lord in the air. He never comes to the earth. He catches his bride away. He gets the ladder. You know, like uh, what was that play, Leo? Uh, where the man put the ladder upside of the house, uh, uh, Romeo, Romeo and Juliet, that's right, put the ladder up and stole his bride away. Uh, he's just coming down Jacob's ladder and said, sweetheart, come here. <laughs> See, and we're going up to me. Uh, <laughs> Brother Pat, would well, this be correct then with that? These people came to John the Baptist and they wanted to call him the Messiah. And I heard you one time say that the Jew thinks the Messiah is God. What say? I say, these people came to John the Baptist thinking that he was the Messiah, the Christ. And then you say one time that the Messiah would be God. Yes, sir. That's right. The rabbi. Right. So John rebuked that and said that he was not. That's the right. Christ was coming. But isn't it true that the disciples called Jesus Lord and mm. Jesus uh, agreed with that saying, you call me Lord and so I am. Yeah. In, mm. in uh, John 13 where he washed his yeah. He would admit it. Being Lord, yes, he admitted, he admitted it. it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But see, Jesus being Lord, when he was asked if he was, he said, Yes, sir. I'm your Lord and Master. You call me that, and you say, Well, for so I am. But could say that, no. Like if it's, uh, somebody said, I was a God. Well, let me tell you in the name of the Lord Jesus that that's an error. <laughs> see, I'm a sinner saved by grace with a message from God. See, see? Should 